welcome, friends, to another exciting episode of A VGM Journey. And I'm your host, The Messenger. The track that we're playing in today's show is Main BGM 1 from the game Power League 5. And it was composed by Tumu Kasahara, Yoko Motohaki, and Maki Watanabe. Just like any other episode of the show, I'm bringing some pretty exciting stuff and even a couple requests from some listeners. And I say let's kick off with one of those requests. And this is a request from Heat Override. He wanted me to play the track Scramble, also known as the Stage 3 theme from the game Aero Blasters, and that was composed by Tatsuya Watanabe and Sutomu Okuma. <laughs> Thank you. 
track that you just heard, that was Scramble, also known as the Stage 3 theme from Aero Blasters. And it was composed by Tatsuya Watanabe and Sutomu Okuma. And this was a request by Heat Override. So thank you, Heat Override, for that request. I know there's been a real severe lack of TurboGrafx-16 slash PC Engine tracks played on the show. And it's mostly due to my lack of experience with playing those games and also listening to the soundtracks for these games. So requests like this, I really appreciate. And I was pleasantly surprised with this track and how it just kept on going to all these different places. And just doing quick research on the game, I'm finding out that it's a pretty underrated horizontal space shooter that was also on the Sega Genesis as well. And I do wonder if it's on that TurboGrafx-16 Mini that came out in the last few years. So I feel like that would make a lot of sense to me, but I don't know. But I do know that I want to thank Heat Override once again for that track. That was pretty good. We're going to move on to another request, this time coming from Meatbug, and they wanted me to play the track Ghost Train from the game SpongeBob SquarePants Super Sponge, and that track was composed by Matt Simmons. <laughs> Thank you. 
That track that you just heard, that was Ghost Train from the game SpongeBob SquarePants Super Sponge. It was composed by Matt Simmons, and this was a request by Meatbug. So thank you, Meatbug, for that request. I am really kicking myself for not hearing this track sooner, because I think this would have fit really well on that Halloween episode of the show. My god, I mean, I don't find it very fitting with Spongebob Squarepants, but as a haunted level of sorts, heck yeah, I definitely think that fits. It's pretty spooky sounding, and I mean, I would even go as far to say that it could fit with a Castlevania game. And I will say that I am a little guilty of not really looking into licensed games too much for music because I keep having the expectation of the music to be, I would say, of a lesser quality. But then I wind up missing out on gems like this. And so I want to say once again, thank you, Meatbug, for that request. We're going to move on to something quite a bit different. And this is coming from the remake of Super Mario RPG. The track is still The Road is Full of Dangers, and it was composed and arranged by Yoko Shimomura. <laughs> track that you just heard that was still the road is full of dangers from the remake of super mario rpg and it was composed and arranged by yoko shimamura as a fan of both the original game and its soundtrack i felt as though i had some reasonably high expectations for both the remake and its soundtrack and i'm happy to say that it has exceeded my expectations and my god the soundtrack was absolutely perfect in my opinion i think when it comes to a lot of remakes with their soundtracks there's always some kind of weird transition from the original 8-bit and 16-bit stuff which in this case was a 16-bit super nintendo game and that you would often find yourself thinking yeah this is pretty good but it probably just doesn't sound as good as the original and though i wouldn't say that this stuff would replace the original in any way but i would definitely say that this is as good or even better than the original and i think for this track for an example i mean it is pretty faithful to the original it's got that really fast xylophone sound and but it's really enhanced by the orchestration of it all it has a feeling of this bombastic nature and and frankly I think it's a lot of fun. And there's so much I want to talk about 
with this track and also the soundtrack for the original and the remake. But I will say that maybe you should keep an eye on the feed for this show and also BG Mania in the near future. That's all I'm going to say. For this next track, we're going to go way back and even play something from the MSX2. This is frequency 140.85 from the game Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. And this was composed by possibly a quite a handful of composers. But for the sake of time, I'm just going to refer to them as the Konami Kakeha Club. track that you just heard that was frequency 140.85 from the game metal gear 2 solid snake and that was composed by the konami kakeha club and that's gonna just about do it for the show today if you like what you've been listening to have your friends check out the show on apple podcasts google podcasts spotify and even check us out on terra player the home of a bunch of video game and video game music podcasts. You can email the show at vgmjourney at yahoo.com, and you could also check us out on X at vgmjourney. We also have a Discord server for the show, which I will provide a link for that in the show notes, where you can hang out with your fellow VGM journeymen and talk about games, music, and even look at some cool art. We're also going to play things out with one more track, And this is coming from the game Sonic R. The track is Work It Out, and it was composed by Richard Jakes. Have a good one, everyone.